How are we doing everyone? Today we're gonna to be discussing how to better your aim on PC using a mouse. A lot of what I talk about is anecdotal, however, is also backed by science. Uh, I will also be showing you the aim routine that I use to achieve high levels of accuracy in a relatively short amount of time. If you're new to the channel or haven't already subscribed, consider doing so as it helps me be more consistent with posts and allows you to be notified when I do. But let's get into it. First up guys, we need to understand that our PC performance will always be affected by external influence. The three most important factors being sleep, diet, and regular exercise. Why? Well, let's discuss it. You ever take a test with suboptimal sleep? Do you remember the frustration of staring blankly at the handout, trying to remember an answer that was once concrete due to hours of study? Well, gaming underslept isn't too different. When your mind isn't adequately refreshed, you will inevitably experience poor performance. Sleep and the lack of affects the quality of work you're able to achieve, hindering things like reaction time, spatial awareness, recall, and even your ability to learn. You will experience low energy, worsened mood, and a lack of mental fortitude or resilience. Which brings me to my next point, diet. Maintaining a healthy diet isn't always easy, but is actually imperative to peak performance at any high level across numerous competitive environments. A poor diet will almost always result in brain fog, mood issues, and low motivation. Sleep can also be affected by what you eat. Falling and staying asleep are common issues related to an unhealthy way of eating. And finally guys, exercise. Here we're going to focus on the benefits as they dramatically outweigh the negatives. Exerting energy in the form of physical exercise will actually help you sleep better at night, therefore, by chain of events, positively affecting other areas of your life. Believe it or not, working out optimizes the brain for learning by increasing the production of the protein BDNF, or brain-derived neurotrophic factor, allowing you to pick up on new skills faster and at a deeper level. Regular exercise will also increase your overall energy, thus enhancing your mood and increasing motivation. Circulation of blood and oxygen is also improved, both of which are crucial for brain function. Now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at the aim training routine that has radically improved my gameplay over the course of just a few months. As you guys can see, this drill is training my flicking ability, flicking, or swiftly moving the crosshair from my point of origin to a desired target, usually one that is unexpected, is one of the two mechanics of aim, the other being tracking, which we will discuss momentarily. When training, it is good practice to maneuver your mouse in a fashion that resembles how you would in-game, this being fast yet accurate. I make the attempt to always push the envelope, focusing only on improvement, even if this means jeopardizing my score. This drill, from the popular aim trainer Kovax 2.0, is named Tile Frenzy Small. Make note that as your accuracy increases, you should decrease the size of the targets, as training should always have an element of challenge. Now, let's talk about the second mechanic of aiming, tracking, or the act of following a chosen target when said target's velocity changes. In this exercise, a relatively slim target mimics a player rapidly changing their X, Y, and Z coordinates, otherwise known as their position in space, which makes perfect practice for tracking. This Kovacs exercise is named Ascended Tracking V3. And finally, the routine I attribute success to the most, here we reside at the infamous CSGO community-made map, Aimbots, created by Eletical, where I focus on fast, accurate flicks. I chose CSGO as my go-to aim trainer for its emphasis on accuracy and precision, however there are many great choices. Equipping the AK, I bounce from head to head, always an effort to increase my accuracy and precision while decreasing my TDK, or time to kill. I don't usually time this part, I more or less do it until satisfaction. Once satisfied and feeling warmed up, I'll then grab the op, or what I jokingly refer to as the wet twisted towel of death, for reasons that are obvious to those who regularly play CS. However, I'm not going to get into that routine in this video as I'd like to explain in depth the wrist flicking mechanics that I use to achieve fast high accuracy snipes, so if you're interested in further improving your aim, do yourself a favor and subscribe for more valuable tips on bettering aim. Also, let me know down below what aim training exercise you already do and which ones from this video you're going to implement. But as always guys, I'll see you in the next one.